Starting up a new computer art tutorial today, uh, continuing to find each and every day I play around in Pixlr more and more stuff that we can do that is almost identical to some of the things we were going to do in Photoshop anyways before we started our distance learning journey here. And here is uh, one of them. So making this kind of like a pixelated sort of explosion or dissolving kind of effect come off of an image of something that's in motion. So you could technically do this um, project with pictures like cars or running animals or, you know, athletes or anything in motion would really make the most sense. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go back to my home button, click create new going to go with our full HD. Let's call this one pixel explode and say create. And I'm going to zoom out just a snitch and go ahead back to my image. So I've already done an image search for a 49ers running back who had a great season this year. You guys may have noticed a theme with some of my images that I've used for these portrait projects we've been doing. Some of you know I'm a 49ers fan and had a great season this year, so definitely feeling inspired by them. But uh, yeah, so taking my image, stretching it so it fills uh, my canvas up here, and then I'm just going to take my crop tool so I can remove some of this empty space that's off the edges, and then I'll just go ahead and hit apply. All right, so now we're kind of ready to start this. And a tool we're going to get into using um, that I didn't notice uh, because this is new, uh, is using Pixlr, is this cutout mask tool. can do some really cool stuff with this. It's going to be fun to utilize as we go ahead here. Um, so select your image layer, and you have the cutout mask tool. And what we're going to choose is you've got some different tool options. You could do shape cutouts, um, magic, draw cutouts. We're going to choose draw cutouts. And we're going to, um, actually, before we do this, we'll, we'll get into using this tool, uh, we need to duplicate this layer. So I'm actually going to hit the three dots here, and let's go to uh, Duplicate Layer button. Okay, so we want to have a copy before we start doing this. All right, so I still have the tool selected, and it's still got my selections and whatnot, even though I just did that. So uh, what we want to do is go to Remove from Cutout, and then for our brush, let's click on our brush picker. Let's choose a round brush, and let's make sure that there's some softness to it. Make it a pretty decent size for mine. Yeah, about 80 or so softness, you know, of you know 30% or so is probably good. Yeah, so about 80 you know, 70, 80, and softness of 30 is going to be good for this. So um, going out here, what I'm going to do is just start to click and drag and kind of draw an outline around the entire body here. And what it'll do is you'll notice it's um, like cutting out with the lasso tool, but it's a little bit more forgiving where it doesn't quite have to be precisely accurate, especially because we're using a soft edged brush. So what you'll see as I go along the edge here and go around my subject, so whatever your subject is, you're going to go around and just try to go like just along the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Whoops, I accidentally clicked on my little zoom tool, but I can show you actually how to fix that. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to let go because it got a little crazy there uh, with my mouse. I know I'm trying to use a mouse for this and I every once in a while uh, thinks I'm trying to zoom when I'm not really trying to zoom. It doesn't look like it did the effect that I was trying to go for there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do it in smaller chunks. Okay, so it's difficult to see. Um, actually, you know what I think I want to do is, yeah, okay, so it did do it. Um, turning off the image underneath make its visibility not visible. So you click on this little arrow here so that's not visible so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, and I can add this back actually. So if we go to the add to cutout mode, I can go ahead and add this part of his arm that I accidentally uh, erased and this part of his hip that I erased as well. I can add those back. Okay, so um, yeah, that's the add and remove options. And so now I'm gonna go back to remove and continue trying to go around his body. And again, this doesn't have to be precise and exact. Oof, just I keep 
kind of scrolling on my mouse while I'm clicking and holding. So, <laughs> so you may find that using your trackpad on your computer or on your Chromebook or your laptop, whatever you're using, might actually work better than trying to use a mouse. Um, but I'm going to keep kind of trying to press forward here. All right. So I got him pretty well cut out now. You know, I can see some spots where it did get a little uh, crazy here. I'll add back some of his shoulder that got a little lost. Again, doesn't have to be exact that you, the fact that you can see a little bit of the background, like around the edges of his body is fine. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. So you, you want to make sure that you see everything. So if you, you know, go back and you could do some adding just to get, um, all the details back in. Cause yeah, it did, I got a little too close to the edge on some of these parts. So I'm just going back and making sure that his entire body is visible and that I didn't accidentally erase anything, but um, now I'll go back to remove and uh, I might just go over this um, a little bit more. We're going to remove the entire background basically with this tool. The other thing, the other tool we could use is we could switch to the shape, have our shape be a rectangle and I could go like make this rectangle selection and just get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so getting rid of kind of all this um, extra stuff from the background that I want to get rid of. So I might switch back to draw cutout with this brush and then, you know, I could just go ahead and try, I think, to make the size a little bit bigger and then um, just go over all this stuff that I want to get rid of. So going, going, going. And that's doing pretty good. I think I might have gotten too close to his hand there. So I'm going to go back um, and add some in, but just continuing to use this kind of mask tool. Oops, I did a zoom again. Wow, really not enjoying my mouse today, but that's fine. We'll get through it. Um, and then uh, gonna go back to draw and cut out. Now, the thing that's nice about this is what you're doing is you're not really erasing the image. It's not really like permanently erased is it's masked, so it's just not visible. So that's what's happening here is I can go back at any time and I can add, you know, with the add cutout. I can add back to the parts that were cut away. Um, like I said, pretty cool, pretty useful tool that we're gonna utilize a good amount, I think. Um, so, all right, so this is all set. Once you have your subject cut out, awesome. We're set to uh, continue onwards here. So going to turn the visibility of this layer on again. And so everything should just look normal, but basically you have a layer uh, on top with a cutout and a layer underneath that's just the normal image with the background and all that. Uh, the cutout layer we're gonna duplicate. So we're gonna again hit on this three buttons layer and go down to the duplicate layer button again. So, um, the middle one, so you have one on top, we're going to leave alone. This middle one, what we're going to do is go over to the edit option here, and we're going to go to free transform. And what we want to do is just take this image and stretch it out. So we're just going to stretch this so that it goes way out to the side. And this is where we're going to kind of reveal the pixels from. And so now that that's kind of stretched out, I can go ahead and hit apply, or if you click on another tool, it'll ask you if you want to, uh, to apply the transformation. And so with this layer selected now, I'm going to go back to my cutout tool. And what we want to do now is go back to draw cutout. We want to remove, and I'm going to change my brush to a square brush. I'm going to turn the softness all the way down so it's a hard edge because I want these to look like blocks, like pixels. And I'm going to lower my size to maybe 60 at first. And you're going to want to do these in a lot of different sizes. And you could do it with other shaped brushes. If you want to do round, kind of like bubbles almost coming off or diamond shaped brushes, I guess you could do any shaped brush. But then what I'm going to do is just kind of like click away here at this layer. Now make sure you're on the middle layer and kind of make this guy disappear, make blocks of him disappear, okay? And do a bunch of big blocks and kind of space them out sort of randomly. And don't worry about taking away too much because what we're gonna do is add some back as well. So 
what I might do is once I've kind of taken away a good amount and a, a good amount of blockiness, um, I can maybe lower my size just a little bit more. Maybe I'll go down to like 40 something or 20 something <laughs> and do some more removing. And then, you know, after you've done this for a bit and you've got some smaller pixelated blocks removed, keep zooming, zoom, it's a zoom, zoom kind of day. And maybe we should do a zoom meet one of these days. That could be fun. Maybe one day before we have our uh, April break, we'll try and see if we can get one in. Um, but anyways, gonna go, maybe, you know, I could go even smaller. You know, I could go down to, you know, even in the single digits and do a couple more, you know, remove a couple of spots, you know, really small ones. Um, you know, some of these, you know, could be like ones that are like really close to him here. You know, just clicking around. And, uh, and just creating some more holes and gaps. You know, maybe the, down in the single digits was a little bit too small. But, um, so I'll move the size back up, maybe back into the 20s, 50, 40s, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go over some of those because I don't really like the really tiny ones. But anyways, now I'll go back to add to cut out. And, you know, I took away a lot. I'm gonna make this brush a little bit smaller now. Yeah, in the 20s, and I can bring back pieces too. So see how I click in here and it brings them back if you have the add to cutout mode selected. So I can add these back in, in kind of smaller chunks from areas where I took away, you know, some big chunks. And so I kind of fill in some of the big gaps that I made before. Okay, and uh, this looks pretty good. I'd say this is just about finished, you know, um, but take your time. Make sure that you have a pretty good even spread of kind of this effect going across your page. Um, once you're happy with it, we're going to make sure we save, file save. We'll call it Pixel Explode, make it a JPEG, um, and hit download. Make sure that file gets into your Google Drive and then uh, uh, upload it onto Google Classroom. All right, so... Uh, Hope you guys have luck and, uh, you know, have fun getting creative with your own project, making this kind of pixeling, exploding effect.